I'm going to show you the new defense that pretty much everyone's running in Madden right now from a blitzing perspective. We actually dropped um, this blitz a couple days ago in the Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member. It gets you access to everything. And we have an e blitzing ebook where it's basically like a resource for blitzes in there where you can get access to pretty much every blitz in the game. Every blitz in the game, we find it. And we put it in the Patreon for you guys. You have it in that vault. We also have full ebooks as well. And we just dropped a full nickel 3 3 defensive ebook in there for you guys. So if you're not a member yet, join today. It's only 10 bucks. It'll make you a better Madden player. I guarantee it. Uh, but this is the new uh, blitz that I think a lot of pros are running. And it comes just out of nickel 3 3. And it's a variation of LB Blitz Zero. I've talked about LB Blitz Zero on the channel here. Uh, but basically, this is a little bit more of an aggressive form of the blitz. And it's really good because you can't. Um, you know, we don't have like velocity chems right now, so it's harder to throw the ball. Obviously, we have Warren Moon with Gunslinger, but this blitz, because it comes in so fast, uh, it can make it very difficult. So how do you set this blitz up? Well, this is 4-6 playbook. What we want to do is we want to have safeties at the linebacker position. We want to have um, as fast and as agile as possible players on the defensive end positions. And then the nose tackle, really just a good pass rusher. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to turn auto flip off, and we're going to come out in the play nickel blitz zero. Now, what I've been noticing is a lot of people like to flip this blitz, and basically what you're going to do is you are going to uh, shift your linebackers to the left, contain, and then you're going to bring this guy right down. So it's a very simple setup, and you want to typically use her about right in here. And essentially, this is a six-man blitz, and somebody's coming free. Somebody is coming free. Um, now, one little quick thing about loop blitzes that I've talked about before here on the channel. The blitzes, generally speaking, will work significantly better in-game than they do in practice mode. That's just the way loop blitzes work in Madden. I don't know why, um, but that's just the way it, it, it plays, okay? So just keep that in mind here. Again, all we're doing is we're just shifting the linebackers left. We're QB containing, dropping this guy down so that he's in a contain. And then we're usering with our user um, over the center. And as you can see, we're either getting gap pressure, we're getting loop pressure, we're getting all kinds of pressure. The, we are sending six, okay? We are sending six. Now, I want to show you why I think this is a very good blitz for a lot of the different metas that you're going to be seeing right now. The, one of the reasons that makes this blitz so good is that it is a simple setup, but also um, it is a really good blitz against a formation, any formation that wants to run, because you have a pretty nice box count. So you're able to stop the run well, and also you're able to get pressure from a lot of different ways. So if your loop blitz doesn't work for whatever reason, you're going to get this a gap pressure uh, from the from the nose or from the linebacker. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to block a running back here, just kind of show you. Um, if they do block somebody, typically the gap pressure will still come in, um, or the loop will still come in. So you're still going to have some kind of pressure um, in this blitz. Another thing that I like to do, I think base aligning helps the splits even more, um, but that's me. You don't have to do that. And then if they block, let's say they block like a tight end, for example, they block a tight end, and you see we're getting that edge pressure off the left. Now, again, like I said, this if you watch any streamer right now that's running this blitz, um, you'll see it's a lot more consistent in game than it is in practice mode. Okay, that's just the way loop blitzes are this year. From my experience, um, it's just it's just the way the game plays right now. But you see, we're consistently even if a block even if they block a running back, you're going to get this blitz up the middle. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about with this blitz and what I think uh, makes this a really good defense right now is how good of a job this blitz will do uh, at stopping the run game. So this is trip side in, arguably the best shotgun run game in you know in Madden right now. And what you'll see is this is a very simple setup. But if I run, you know, counter, for example, you'll see it's easy to stop the run out of this. It's easy to stop the shotgun run game out of this. And that's part of what makes it so good. So I'm going to go to base here and uh, show you that. And you'll see that we're able to stop the run. This is honestly, I think, a big reason why a lot of people are in this because you can't really run the ball uh, that easily against this defense. So it makes it a little better uh, than the standard 3-3 double loop uh, that we have seen. And it's also, I think, a little bit easier of a setup with obviously the, the reality that we're playing a Madden right now where quick snapping is certainly a thing. But guys, this is the new way that everyone's running the Blitz. I've got some different versions of this in the Patreon. If you want to check that out, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. It's only, uh, and you'll get access to everything. All of our eBooks updates, everything instantaneous access, and you get the updates as soon as they come out. So you can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.